Hello and welcome to About the House. In this special two-part episode, we go head-to-head -head with independent members Adam Bant MP, Kathy McGowan MP and Andrew Wilkie MP to talk about life as a crossbench member, including their unique roles in the federal parliament. My main job is to represent my community, which is the same for every other member of parliament. But what makes it special being on the crossbench is I don't have party machinery behind me. So I've got to do things differently to give voice to what a lot of people in Australia are thinking, not just in my electorate, but everywhere, but that isn't um, otherwise being represented. But one of the other things that we do is actually shift the debate and um, put, uh, sort of, I guess, be the innovators for ideas in the parliament. The members also explained how each parliamentary term has a different dynamic. Uh, well, I'm now in my third parliament, uh, and all three parliaments have been very different. Uh, my first parliament, the 43rd, was of course a power-sharing parliament. Uh, and that was very unusual for the country in very exciting days. Uh, my second parliament, the 44th, uh, a Conservative government had a very big majority uh, which left the crossbench, uh, some would say sidelined, uh, although really it was just a, a set of new challenges for us. And now my third parliament, uh, the 45th, that's different again because uh, we have a federal government with a one-seat majority. Um, it's, that is genuinely wafer thin. Uh, it's, it's so thin it could be lost for any number of reasons at any time. So um, um, both the government and the opposition have probably uh, wanted to pull the crossbench a little closer in this parliament just in case. Ms McGowan said the closeness of the 45th parliament helped her enact change in her local community. It's not unusual for me to meet with the Prime Minister, to meet with leaders of the opposition, and I've got really good access to any of the ministers I need to speak to. So regularly, if I've got a problem in my electorate, I can regularly ring up the minister and say, for example, we had a a situation with Murray Goulburn Dairy in um, North East Victoria. They were going to close one of the factories. So I was able to ring up Makata Cash, have a meeting with her and her staff, um, and then she wrote a really lovely letter to the workers of the factory um, supporting them. So even though I'm not on her team, I've got the respect of those ministers, but also they understand that they want me to think well of them also. So that the closeness of the numbers make a big difference. Mr Bant said being on the crossbench allowed him to have his say on a range of issues. The shared power parliament was pretty exciting and you know it was the first time we got elected and then sort of thrown straight into the, um, the middle of it. It was a lot of work and um, uh, uh, but it was work that um, was, for example going to selection committees to work out how we we're going to progress private members bills through. That was a, um, a pretty exciting time and uh, again, watching then switching to watching a, a sort of a majority parliament, uh, again, uh, you find yourself often on many instances being the real opposition because you're prepared to stand up in ways that others won't. And that, I think, no matter what the size of the majority of the government, I think people value um, members of parliament on the crossbench who are going to stand up for what they believe in. Thanks for watching, and be sure to stay tuned for part two. For more news about the House of Representatives, like or follow us on social media or subscribe to our newsletter.